Watch Judge Lauren Lang stand firm against tough parties. In cases where a man doesn't believe that he's the father of his estranged wife's kid as she admits that cheating on him while he was away. These are the times Judge Lauren Lake was attacked on paternity court. One, Mr. Green, you claim that the defendant repeatedly cheated on you during your marriage with both men and women. Yes, Your Honor. You state you have every reason to doubt that you are one-year-old Keegan's biological father because of Mrs. Green's sexual track record. Yes, Your Honor. Now, you've petitioned the court for a paternity test. A man wants to prove that he's not the father of his estranged wife's toddler because she's got a track record of sleeping with both men and women. So she's signing up for the sausage and the clam too, huh? Now she's up in here claiming that he's the one who wasn't ready to be married and that he was the promiscuous one. Now she used to leave him in the house claiming that she was going to the store and she'd be gone for two to three hours. I don't think Burger King at 10 o'clock at night is crowded until like one in the morning. So this is what made me like not want to be with her. You could have said you were leaving. I don't know leaving. if that's accurate or not. You don't know don't, if it's accurate or not? Recall. Don't play. I really don't can't. play. I, don't, I can't really yeah, okay. can't recall. Can't recall. He can't recall. Yeah, can't recall. Of course not. Okay. okay, okay. So give me some other reasons why you have doubt, Mr. Green. Okay, and then there was another time where... And I did, and he would have also had another child during that point. If still allegedly. another said, child... That was allegedly. That, that was mine. That there allegedly. is still she another child that is What kind of marriage is this? <laughs> a circus. A circus. Now, I found out that she was pregnant from, get this, somebody else two weeks after he came back from Atlanta. Now, she claimed he was back for about a month before he found out that she was pregnant and she'd not been with anybody beside him during the time that the kid was conceived. He's saying, he, if you don't want something, if you don't want something, you're supposed to be a grown man. You say, no, we're not going to do this, or I'm just going to leave, correct? You don't participate. So, Mr. Green, are you, you accusing do, right? Mrs. Green for getting you involved in activities that you wouldn't otherwise yeah, be mama. involved in? Yeah. I, yeah, I never, never was involved with no, you know what I'm saying, swinging stuff. No, to a grown man to a sinner. I ain't saying I ain't a sinner, nothing like yeah, that. Okay. But that was my first, like, sexual experience with two females and all that. She, she asked for all of that. He she, was there, that was though. her people. He that was, was her girl. Who does that? He was you know, there. what woman brings another woman into the situation, into the equation. So That's now she you, to do. Uh, you two, now, as a married like, couple, I didn't even like the female. Like, during I didn't even the like time, the side oh, he didn't like that female. Yeah. But he liked well, you don't have order. Let's like, get some order. Hold on one second. Now, looking like she told him that she had slept with somebody else and that he could be the father to her kid. Now, she admitted that she had told him that she was having relations with somebody else during the time he was gone, but denies telling him that there was a possibility that the man was her kid's baby daddy. She told me, like, I, I might be pregnant or whatever the case is. Came Before back home. you came. Yeah, came back home. She supposedly had her period. Then, like, a week later, she's How saying that she's pregnant. supposedly have a period? Supposedly. Could have been faking. I don't oh, know. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. That you, you know what I'm saying, that you might be pregnant. So, I'm like, yeah, I'm giving me doubts. And plus, I know how you get down. I know what people are saying about you in the street. So, I just want to know for sure. Okay. Like, I take so care I of her and all of that. Witness. Still, she turned up. They both turned up. But she extra turned up. Uh, I believe. Everything is a go. Understood. Multiple partners. Vegas in the bedroom. Now, he doesn't even believe that the kid looks like him, but she obviously believes that they got some sort of resemblance, man. She even brought her friend as a witness. You've been chasing and running from the beginning, and I've always remained, I personally... You know, because I've been a part of all this, I have to hear the cries. I hear the tears. I've heard both sides of the story, and I try to stay in the middle of everything. At the end of the day, there are children involved in this that have genuine emotions for the both of y'all. It's about the children. And all this back and forth, words after words after words, calling her outside her so name Ms. and Green, all this, this is in front I'm of the children. I'm looking at you right now, and you seem very emotional. I am, because it just doesn't make any sense. Like, but I loved him, and I wanted to be with him. I had you to got, deal with him. Got, got I had to deal with them. him. Like, going back and forth. Now they both got faults and they really shouldn't be having kids if they can't get their own lives together. But instead of throwing the blame game around, let's find out who that baby daddy is. As it relates to one year old Keegan Green. Mr. Green. You The father. Now turn up to that. Turn up now. That's what I was talking about. That's all I wanted to know. Yeah. That's all okay. I wanted to know. That's all I wanted to know. Why you all mad? Like, come on. A woman is mad, devastated when her father doubts her paternity, but he claims to have good reason to say that he's not the dad. 
Now he claimed that her mom had fraudulently claimed that he fathered one of her kids and now he believes that she lying again. When my daughter was about two years old, she and I became intimate again and she wound up pregnant. So of course I'm being excited. I'm, I'm there for her. Iana is your child. Exactly, but you know, Your Honor, there's been, you know, years have gone by, of course. Your entire life, this has been your father. Yes. You were made aware that potentially he may not be your father. Um, Your Honor, I was at McDonald's and he met me up at McDonald's. And you, here comes your father. I've been there for her. And I don't know what she's talking you about have having not. been there for no, her. No, you have not. You admit this McDonald's day happened. She straight brought her mom to court and she admitted that she told him while they were in a relationship that she had a kid that was his, but she also claimed that he was more aware that there was a possibility that there was another man involved. And that's why I got the, the paternity test done because I wasn't, I wasn't sure. He then began to question whether or not the same thing may have happened with, were you intimate with anyone else during the time your daughter was conceived. No, yeah. So you were only with Mr. Bell. Yes. All I know is that I tried to bond with the baby, with the little boy, and when I... When Tiana was born, she didn't have any doubts. Now, she believes there's a possibility that she's her son's child, although she's got doubts when Miss other son was born. Unfortunately, she hasn't really been a grandmother or regarded her as her granddaughter her entire life. It, it was hard. It was because every daughter needs their father in their life, and I didn't have that. I didn't have that father figure to come tell me right from I go downtown. No, 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 no. I go downtown, and I see them downtown. Whose baby is this? Okay. And she's like, no. I'm like, no. tell me this is not your baby. She said, yeah, this is my baby. Well, if you saw her pregnant, why wouldn't it be She wasn't baby? pregnant, yeah. no, no. All her mother your did Honor, was trust her stomach. It was a lie. Okay, but no. the baby that you brought up to your father... That's not true, Your yes, Honor. If you that's weren't not sure... You are lying. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. Now, she's following that in her mother's footsteps about no. the lie. So, so wait, no, all you're doing is being a mama's boy. If he wasn't sure she was his daughter, then why would he give her money for a kid that he doesn't really think is his grandkid? And that don't make much sense to me, man. Now, he claimed that he's always accepted her as his daughter and has never for once denied her. What's based upon that little doubt, was that always in the back of your mind? It and always, so It always stuck in my mind ever since the boy was born and he wasn't mom. There's a possibility. Tiana, hun, let me ask you, what are you hoping for today? What do you want out of it? Did you post you on Facebook know. exactly? I told him after this results come out, whether he is or he isn't my no, father, he would not see me or my son. But I, I did say that. Honor. To take care of my grandson. Good. My and, grandson and is three months old and, and has, and has not even well. seen him. You know, if only she knew that that basic level of respect is necessary for a person to be successful, I mean, she really got to do better. She explained that she disrespects her only because she called her mom to threaten her after she had a baby and didn't contact her. In the case of others versus Bell, Mr. Bell, you are not. I knew it! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! I knew it! I knew it! I told you! I told you! I told you! I know who the daddy is! Thank you, Thank you so much! Told you, Tiana! Filled with regrets, a man came to court to testify that he'd open his case because the defendant's doing what she does best, pinning babies on innocent men. Now she's seeking financial help from his mom, and the only way to stop her from taking advantage of his family is for him to prove that he ain't the father of her baby. Um, for one, uh, Your Honor, I didn't know anything about the baby until after she had the child. Oh. And so how did you find out? Um, she contacted my mom and told my mom about it, and my mom told me, and once I found out, I had my mom to contact her. I sent him some money, $250 to be exact, and thought he was coming back, and he never came back. I brought my baby to see her when she came here because she was driving truck, and she was like, oh, yeah, I know this is my grandbaby. No. So, Miss Williams? Uh, Jasmine contacted me, and she said, I'm pregnant by your son. This was before she even had the baby. Can you please tell the court what happened when you asked for a paternity test? When I asked her for a paternity test, she told me, no, this is your child. So they knew each other before as they'd stayed on the same street when they were younger, although they had no dealings. But at some point, they obviously were intimate or else we wouldn't be here. And when well, we moved back uh, here, I still wasn't dating anyone. Yana, she was still involved because she told me this out of her own mouth. She was still involved with another guy. Like I said, our relationship was not... We was not in a relationship. We was not a couple. How did you know she was still with her ex? She told me. 
out of her mouth? Yeah. What and did she sometimes say? Sometimes when I be when I be at her, at her house, she'll video call him on Facebook and tell me to be quiet while she talks to him. And I'm sitting right next to her. <laughs> so that makes him the dummy. Why would he still stay if I'm still dealing with somebody else? Now that's just ridiculous, man. How desperate could she have been to do that? Now she claimed they never used protection from the first day and believes that he's telling a complete lie. He texts me two months later, asked for a favor to borrow some money, <laughs> and I told him no. So then he went to say, don't contact me anymore. So who need who? Okay, you only sent me you $20. Me was, it wants your responsibility. And that was all I was supposed to send you. That. All right, ladies. All, all right, ladies. All all right, ladies. To ladies. To do ladies, let's get some order. Evidence to this court. Yes, ma'am. That's the This evidence is about. Alana. Yes, ma'am. And you type, you can ask how she's doing. Yeah. And the response was nothing. Nothing. As you can see, it's blank. That's January the 30th. Mm-hmm. Sadly, he ain't done nothing for the kid, nor has he spent time with her either. Now, in his defense, he had asked her for a DNA test, but she refused. Okay, that gonna make you look guilty, girl. Uh-uh. Now, he'd seen her only once, and she was about five or six months old at the time. Once I was at my aunt's oh, house, oh, his mom came and picked my baby up. Her and her daughter came and picked my baby up. I did not pick your baby up, Jasmine. What I was in about the to world? Get your baby. Oh, I, was I, about to, you. I was about no. to take... And took my baby to wherever Trinai was, wherever they had their little gathering at. Oh. And she the one that told me my baby crying, and Trinai was like, hey, no, hey, what you crying a, for? And that was my baby was like five or six months. Seen, seen the baby? Hold I've seen the baby oh, through a picture. Okay. You saw the baby through a picture only. Through a picture that she sent to my mom. So you've never, ever met a lie? Ever. Lies. Now, she had agreed to taking the DNA test when he requested the damn thing. Maybe things would have turned out a little bit better. I don't know. But let's check the results and find out who that baby daddy is. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Maxson, you are the father. I know it. <laughs> That's your little girl, Mr. Maxson. Next thing you know, you having sex with him in an abandoned van? Yes, ma'am. An Alabama woman brought her ex-boyfriend to court to prove to him that he is the father of her three-year-old son. She also demanded he stop denying the baby and take upon his paternal responsibilities. Mr. Black stated that what they had was just a two-week fling in which she was also cheating on her boyfriend. You claim that after initially accepting your son, Mr. Black turned his back on you and started denying your baby. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Black, you state you had only a two-week fling with Ms. Myers while she was cheating on... She claimed he took her three years to bring the case to court because her son is now grown and old enough to ask questions about his father, which he is already doing. She admitted telling her son that Mr. Black is his father. Why have you waited three years to bring this case to court? Well, now Logan's old enough to ask questions. So when it's Logan's first day of school, he'll ask where is Tyrell, or he'll ask why isn't he there. Because he thinks Mr. Black by a lot of mm -hmm. That's what you've told If you promised a child you would show up for their birthday, you show up, whether or not you believe you're their father or not. Don't deprive an innocent child of fatherly love. He doesn't show up for his birthday parties. He promised Logan that he would come to his third birthday party and he did not show up. So Logan was very... Up In three years, he claimed never to have done anything for the child. How is that even right? He goes to her family house even with the fact that he has doubts about being the father. Why even bother? Because you admittedly, Mr. Black, you say you haven't done anything. No, ma'am. For this child. No, ma'am. Three years. Not only that, he's bought, like, probably three pair of shoes, and he's came to my family's house. So you come to her family's house, but you just aren't really buying. They had gone to high school together and later reconnected on Facebook. We met on Facebook. We went to the same high school. Oh, so you went to high school together? Mm hmm And then you reconnected on Facebook? Yes, ma'am. And then what happened? Mr. Myers claimed they started dating, but Mr. Black disagreed. And it turned into what? Dating? It a relationship? Into dating. We were talking for, like, Ooh, almost... We were talking for almost like three months. She thought she had a boyfriend, but he was just using her to pass the time. Because how do you ask someone to have your child and still consider what you have with them casual sex? That's just ridiculous. He was your boyfriend. He was. Casual sex. That's all it was. It was not. That's a lie. You think you in a relationship and got a boyfriend? He asked me to have his child. That's the thing. Two weeks or four months? 
whether or not they're right or wrong. Making a baby takes just two seconds. Almost four months. Like, she came around my family. Like, when I would go places with Logan, Tyrell would show up and my family members would be no. there. I doubt Mr. Black knew that. And what's with him showing up at places where family members are at? But Mr. Black, even though you may say it was just two weeks, you know it it, 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 it really just takes two seconds to make a baby. It, I, I learned that. I had he claimed to have gotten a courtesy call at work when she was eight months pregnant, stating she was pregnant and also informing him that the child wasn't his, but her boyfriend's. And that was how he found out she was prepared. And I got a courtesy call at work. A courtesy call? Yes, that's that's not true. Call. That's not it went, true. It went exactly like this. That's I'm not true. I'm just calling you to let you know I'm pregnant. But don't that's worry, not you're not father. It's my boyfriend's baby. Miss Myers claims all he said was a lie. She claimed to have sent him a text informing him she was sick. Here's something in the street. That's not true. I texted him. I texted him and told him that I was sick. And he told me, well, maybe you should go to the doctor. He told her to go to the hospital, which she did. She found out she was pregnant. So I ended up going to the doctor and finding out that I was actually pregnant. So I texted him and I was like, I'm actually pregnant. She called to inform him, but never gave any response. He drifted away slowly and disappeared. And at first, you know, he would, you know, ask how did my doctor's appointment go or how was I feeling? And then he like slowly just like drifted, drifted away. Wait, what? He's just out there dropping babies with different women? Is he just trying to find ways to protect himself? Black just testified, clearly. He did not even know you were pregnant until you were eight months pregnant when you called courtesy That's call. a lie. Why would he want to hide the fact that he has other children with different women? But it is, he doesn't want someone to know that he has three different kids by three different women. That, that, that doesn't bother me. If that was the case, he, so we, there's so much that's not true. I can barely tell who's telling the truth. I'm like, okay, so if you're saying I'm not and it's your boyfriend, then why I'm getting this call? That's what, not true. I should be alarmed like I'm a little That's confused on can these two just agree on one thing did she or did she not tell him he wasn't the child's father because it was a courtesy call. exactly like That's if, not true. if I'm not the father why are you calling me That's is it because true. you're unsure are you making these other calls I don't know Miss Myers claimed she wasn't dating someone else at the time she was dating Mr. Black she also claimed she had informed him three months after she was pregnant and not eight months. Were you dating somebody else at the time you were dating Mr. Black? No, ma'am, and I told him three months after I was pregnant. But Mr. Black still disagrees. We'll find out who the liar is soon. It was not eight months later. It was eight months. That's a lie. Okay, so Jerome, somebody lying. <laughs> what exactly did he find out when the baby was born? Another courtesy call? Find out Logan was born. Same day she had a yarner, I was actually at work on my lunch break. Now it's obvious this man is lying. A lot of things aren't adding up. Another courtesy call? Yep. I'm, I'm at the hospital, I'm in labor, I'm about to have him. Why is he getting all these calls if he is not the dad? That's and why do you think you're getting that call if you're not the dad? Because at the same time, I got to to get off of work. He claimed he was not allowed to enter the hospital when he went there during the time she gave birth to the child. Go to the hospital to see him. When I got there, they told me I was not allowed to see him because she refused to have me that's come in the room because her that, boyfriend at the time was there. Oh, wow. He turned back and went straight back to work. Just like that. The way downstairs at the hospital, what did you do? I went back to work. <laughs> I went back to work, okay? I had to get my money. He didn't think to put a call through or something? Doesn't look like he really wanted to know if he was the dad. You don't know why she's calling me, because the guy up there must be the dad. He even signed a birth certificate there, so that let me know he had to be the father. That's not true. It Wait, what? Someone else signed the birth certificate? You can't just decide who signs your baby's birth certificate based on their behavior or availability. That's entirely wrong, and somebody needs to let her know. Yeah, so that let me know he had to be the father. That's not true. It's, it was a reason for all of that. It at the hospital. It was right a reason there. for all of that. There better be a reason, because all of this doesn't even make an iota of sense. Call Tyrell, and I said, hey, I'm in labor. And apparently his his girlfriend at the time, or whoever she was, she snatched, he was not at work. She snatched the phone from him. Do we call Mr. Black irresponsible? for someone that said he was eager to know if he was the father or not. Three days later, and I did tell the nurse, you know, don't let him up because I've had this baby by myself. I've and he had to wait three days before showing up to the hospital? So much for being eager. I went through this by myself and I called him and he didn't come because she yeah. told him oh, not hold to. Hold on, so you're saying he didn't show up the day the baby was he born? He showed up three The question we have all been waiting for, why did they let another man sign the birth certificate? I 
did you let another man sign the birth certificate? Because I was young and it was wrong. I was young and I was angry and I was talking no. to him. No amount of emotions running through a woman should ever let another man that's not the biological father sign the certificate. Were you dating or no. could he potentially be the father could, too? We were just dating. She affirmed that she's 100% sure he is the father. He not potentially Dang be the father. I'm 100% that he's his dad. Like I slept with nobody. Lactose intolerant? What has that got to do with when did that become hereditary? He looks just like him. He's lactose intolerant. Logan's what that got to do? He looks what that has to do? I'm quite confused. Or am I just getting this whole thing wrong? Something that's hereditary. So, so why hold on. I'm still stuck at lactose intolerance. <laughs> I don't think that's sufficient evidence, Ms. Is she convinced he is the father because he is lactose intolerant or because he was the only one she was sleeping with at the time? Ms. Myers, are you convinced Mr. Black is the father because he's lactose intolerant? She better not say lactose intolerant. Mr. Black has so much doubt that he hasn't even agreed to anything she had said. Or because it's the only man you were really sleeping with at because the time. Because it was the only man I was sleeping no. with at the time. For him to disagree with her on this, he better have a valid explanation or evidence. So you weren't having so sex fine. with anybody else? No, ma'am. How do you three, know she was with somebody else? Three months after Logan was... How exactly did he know she was with someone else? Before she asked me for a DNA test after she asked two or three other That's people. That's a... So no, it was process of elimination. She claimed she never asked him for a DNA test but stated that she told him if she had to pay for a DNA test. I'm going down. me for a DNA test. And I told him, sure, since you want to act like Logan's not yours, if I have to pay for a DNA test, I'm going to put you on child support. She would place him on child support, but he disappeared again after he heard this. When I mentioned child support, he disappeared again and no, did not ask anything else to buy a DNA test. So you've never asked anybody I else never, to take a paternity test? Never. He seemed to be so sure about this. How does he know this has to be true? Why exactly is he just bringing this into conversation? He actually called me on the phone. That's a lie. And had a conversation with me and That's said, a lie. man, I'm actually happy I just dodged the bullet. He's not mine. That's a lie. I hope it works out for you. See, he, he actually he told that. me that. No, he told me that. Oh, come on. Not another courtesy call. I thought we were done with the courtesy calls. But why would her boyfriend call him to tell him that? Wait a minute, you got another courtesy call. From her <laughs> ex-boyfriend. That's one of the ex-boyfriends. No one took a test. Okay. Then you know you having what? sex with him in an abandoned van? Yes. That's hurtful, even on the part of the child. No child should ever have to go through that age with an unstable father or a father that's not available to bond with. It hurts my feelings because he'll appear and he'll act like, you know, he'll be active and then he'll just disappear. So Logan wants to know why I go. So he knows who his daddy is. He does. She claimed he had made a couple appearances or, well, a courtesy call in the child's life. Well, that should count for something, right? A courtesy he's call? Made, no, he's, he's, made, he's made multiple appearances in Logan's life. He came to his first birthday party. He did? Yes. That's quite clever. You can't get a child confused. Bonding with him and making him call you daddy just for the innocent child. Call me daddy? Is he no, call, do you, no. Does he say dad, dad? Does no. he say daddy? I just say, what's up, little man? How's it going? I try I To find out he has another daddy somewhere, that would be terrible. I, I, I honestly try to avoid it because I don't want to confuse. I don't want to. You don't want no to. Well, look, I do. Res I do respect that. You can't put a child through emotional trauma for your own selfish reasons. The third birthday party, and he did not show up. And so Logan asked where he was, and I was like, "Baby, he's no. just not coming." Again. They better fix it up and sort whatever they have going on with them. And so, how does that make you? Because it's not. It's not fair to Logan that he gets treated that way. Even though me and him may not get along, it's not fair to. Miss Myers claimed she had actually invested in the notion as she had always reached out to him whenever something was wrong with the child or when he needed something or even when there was a party but he never responded i asked him i invite him to parties i tell him when something's wrong with logan when logan needs something i'll text him and he just doesn't respond but i mean it's quite understandable that she feels this way she has a daughter who has a father child but i have two i have a daughter and she has her dad and it's not fair that you know he treats logan like he's his but it's not fair to logan that that's a comparison for logan and it's unfair he doesn't have his actual dad and she does and then that's a comparison for logan at already at three he can see the difference yes, your honor logan deserves a good father a child at that age shouldn't have to go through all of this the results are in let's check it out determined by this court Mr. Black, you are the father. Oh, now he wants to see him? He explained how he now feels. <laughs> no, I, I 
appreciate that you want to see him. What are you feeling? Oh, uh, relief and a little sad at the same time that I had to. Knowing he is the biological father of the child. Deal with all the stuff and the shadiness I had to deal with with her. And it took this long to find out that he's actually mine and this could have been avoided and he could have been a part. Now they have some fixing to do in that birth certificate. You need to understand is you are the biological father, but you are not the legal father. Somebody else's name is on you. He is the biological father, but not the legal father. And that needs to be changed. Your child's birth certificate, and you are going to have to go back to your home state now and pursue an action in court to have that name changed. A Jacksonville woman claimed to have been pregnant with her first child at the age of 14. And you're a family man who first became a father at the age of 12, going on 13. How is a 12 year old getting somebody pregnant? Although that child was yours, you're certain that Miss Galloway's twins are not. Yes, Your Honor. You all got- They met in church? Oh, well they did the opposite of the Lord's work. Church. Yes. And the next thing you know, you having sex with them in an abandoned van? That's interesting. What are they doing having sex and making babies at that age? Yes, ma'am. You did not use protection. No, I didn't. We did not I didn't use know, protection. It's either they skipped sex education classes or they weren't aware unprotected sex. Um, when, is when my cycle was supposed to show, and I it didn't. Um, and like it was. Uh, well, I guess it wouldn't. Could lead to pregnancy because what in the name of trial and error were they doing? All this unprotected sex. You all, do you all understand when you don't use protection, you can get pregnant? You do yes, understand ma that? Yes, ma'am. She missed her period and then decided to take a home pregnancy test. Yes, ma'am. What do you say? What do you tell him? Okay, so January 18th is when I took the home pregnancy test. Mm -hmm. And that's when I sent him the text message and the pictures. She afterwards went to the hospital where she found out she was having twin babies. Now, right after that, I went to the emergency room and she said that you have two babies. And I'm like, okay. She was like, no, this is, uh, this is you. Right after she informed him, he disappeared. Not after I told him that I was having twins shortly after, he ended up leaving, leaving Florida. And I he leave, stopped calling. You you Apparently, Mr. Harris wasn't only the church boy she was sleeping with. According to Mr. Harris, Ms. Galloway also slept with some other musicians that played at the church Man. with you. Lonnie is a musician. He plays the keyboard. And, and Lonnie is Mr. Samuel. Right, Mr. Lonnie Samuel. And he's here. She was sleeping with other musicians that played at the church, which Mr. Lomi, her ex-boyfriend, was one of them. Court with us oh, as well. I'm so glad because Mr. Samuel actually, <laughs> actually Mr. Samuel, me and Mr. Samuel was cool until we fell out behind a woman. Talking is what they should have been doing instead of sleeping around. She has no doubt that she wasn't sleeping with more than one man during the time of conception. You have no doubt. No doubt, mom. not at all. Not at all, because during this time, like I said- With Mr. Samuel being in the picture, did she sleep with him too? Did you sleep with Mr. Samuels too? No, that, no, that is not a lie. She insisted she never slept with anybody other than Mr. Harris. Again, Duval I'm County would have contacted me and said, go. Mr. Harris, we need you to come do a DNA test for these children because you was- And your the thinking is she did not- But still left the part where the father's information is on the birth certificate blank. If she had no doubts, he should have been listed as the father. Put your name or list your name as father because he's not even sure if I'm the DCF father. has been trying to get in contact with him. That's a lie. I, I, Whether or not she slept with Mr. Samuels, only Mr. Samuels can give accurate and honest answers to that. Are in fact the father of the twins. No, ma'am, I am not the father of the twins. Look, 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 look at him, y'all. Let's hear Mr. Samuels' account of what happened. I can't believe he just called him that. Think about it. Ray is known as being a hoe. Okay, okay let's go. speak respectfully. Say it nicely. I'm sorry, Yana. Okay, where are you? They were loggerheads with each other, throwing insults and spewing different accusations from their pasts. Okay, 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 we, okay we had the same pants. We did, I mean, we did. I mean, my women did you did chase? Like, come on, Lonnie, let's Okay, okay, yeah, you yeah, I did, story? yeah. Well, Mr. Samuel came on too strong, calling him names. That was unnecessary to start with. I chased it. Yeah, I chased chased. It. Come on. I chased it. How many, I chased did it. your ex-wife leave you because no, ask you got the boys? No, you we got the wife. Mr. Samuels clarifying that he is not the father, which hopefully is the truth, because taking your wife to see the kids that are supposedly yours would be quite audacious. Like I got remarried, so me and my wife went over there to the house, and you know we seen the babies. And the thing about when I when I picked them up, I said, "Oh yeah, I knew who the father is." These twins. They basically. Uh, yes. 
He, alongside his wife, paid a visit to see the kids and their mother, and he noticed there was a resemblance between the children and Mr. Harris. He cannot deny that child, y'all know. Well, the kids got sick. She tell me, I be like, where, where's, where's Mr. Harris? Oh, he, Lonnie, uh, he, you knew oh, that. He, Why you ain't never oh, hit me oh, in the inbox? As Mr. Harris was available to perform fatherly duties to the kids. Galloway, I said, where's Rain? She said, oh, um, he, he's not, he's not doing enough for the kids. So I went to the store and I got the time to know because the babies had a fever. Mr. Samuel stepped up by getting drugs for the kids when Miss Galloway reached out to him, informing him that they were sick. Yeah, she called me and be like, they're, they're sick, you know what I'm saying? Can you, can you help me out? Okay, if I got the money, yeah, I'll help you out. So you pretty much stepped up yes, like a father would yes, for these twins. Yes, ma'am. Things escalated really fast as pastors from his church began to reach out to him, throwing blames of him being an irresponsible father. Don't you hurt, man. You denying the kids like that, you going in like that. It made me look like a bad person. The person be like, what am I gonna pay you some money for when you ain't even taking care of your own responsibility? How much money and neglecting his kids and this cost him losing money and his job specifically have you lost because all of together this? about thirty nine hundred dollars it cost me shows people didn't want me to be a musician no more he claims that according to mr harris's countersuit mrs galloway should pay him because she was accountable for the amount of money he lost and also going around saying he was a deadbeat father because you're saying you lost jobs because she went around talking about you were a father to her twins and you were not stepping up to the plate and you were a deadbeat Yes, yeah. Identifying a man that actually loves you or is ready to care for you is one extreme sport. It still doesn't negate the fact that sleeping around and trying out different men is wrong, and in this case, them disappearing when they find out a child is involved. A child they produced with her. Trying to deny children that they've produced with you and you left not holding the bag but holding five children with no job. I'm happy you're getting your education because you're gonna need it. With all Mr. Harris's accusations and denial, he better not turn out to be the father. Let's check out the result. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Samuel, you are not the father. Mr. Harris, you are the twins' father. Nine children? That's one baby making factory. He seems too young to be having that many children. He's definitely focused on the wrong priorities. Nine children. <sighs> I, I'm, I'm so frustrated. I really am. This is not how you live life. You're right. Your destiny and your purpose is not to be baby making factories. What are you doing with your life? It was a 50 50 chance between him and another guy. Yon, I never knew about the other That's fella. Not true. Why is it you picked that moment to be? So I had to hurry up and push him out. I pushed him out in about four minutes. He was, his umbilical cord was wrapped around his neck and everything. It was a rough pregnancy. And Mr. Brady was never. The Will White brings his maybe or maybe not girlfriend to court to settle the paternity of her daughter. He brings a witness, the other probable father, to court. He claims he didn't father the defendant's five month old daughter. The defendant claims otherwise. She says that though there might be a chance, the percentage of the chances of paternity are in his favor. Quite a claim when there's a 50 50 chance. It wasn't your only sexual relationship, but say you can prove he is Loyal's biological father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. But Mr. White, explain to me your relationship with Ms. Loving. I mean, Your Honor, we never did have a relationship. The plaintiff says they were never in a relationship, even though they've known each other for four years done things people in a relationship do, like meeting family members and having reunions and also having lots of unprotected sex. Well, that seems like a cop-out to me. Well, you can't make claims of infidelity if you're not even sure you have a relationship. He says everything changed when she got pregnant, saying she never told him that the baby might not be his. Even after she gave birth, she denies the claims and says she told him several months before the baby was born, over Facebook. I mean, who does that? Okay, and so, so we just seen each other. the entire pregnancy, Miss Loving, you told Mr. White that he was the only possible Not father. throughout the whole pregnancy. You didn't. Mm. When did you tell him otherwise? I told him on Facebook in August that it was a 50-50 chance. He denies knowing about the chances, but she counters him, saying if he had doubt, why would he bring a DNA test to the hospital the day her baby was born? He did confirm her claim and says he did bring a DNA test to the hospital but couldn't use it to be respectful. That the defendant even told him she didn't want to do it for a reason, that's very understandable. She just pushed out a baby, but she definitely did have doubts because she had two conception dates. I was saying it was a 50-50 chance between him and another guy. Yon, I never knew about the other That's fella. not true. Why is it you picked that moment to tell him it was a 50-50? Because Facebook. I had two different conceptions dates, Your Honor. The defendant's mother stands in court to give her testimony. She claims that she's definitely sure the plaintiff is her grandfather's baby father, 
because she was sure he and her daughter were in a relationship because they were always around one another. Always. Ms. Loving got the stand again and said she had two conception dates. Firstly, she reveals that at first she wanted to unalive the fetus and have an abortion, but the people in the hospital talked her out of it. She changed her decision when she heard the heartbeat of the child, which led to the two different conception dates given which made her have doubts. Exactly. When I got the first conception date, it pointed to Mr. White. I followed up on the OBGYN and they gave me another conception date, so that puts me in the middle with two they guys. They then did gave the me, calculation exactly. and gave you a new right. conception date. Yes, the second conception date points to the second probable father, Mr. Talbot. Plaintiff's mother enters the scene and says that the one reason she is dance is because genetically her family has six fingers. That her, her grandmother, her children, they all have six fingers, but the baby doesn't. And that's one reason. And another reason is because the defendant did refuse the paternity test. But at this point, they were already getting on the nerves of the judge. Ow! I didn't refuse it. I didn't refuse it. I didn't refuse it. If she asked me, but now you want to put up in here with the DNA test? Let them see. Let's get some order. If she was worried about Judge Lake invites Mr. Talbot to the courtroom. Mr. Talbot says he and the defendant did have a relationship that was short-lived. It lasted for only two weeks. But after she'd been pregnant for a few months, she reached out to him to tell him she was pregnant. He says he was excited at first, but the inevitable will still happen with the doubt. But he does believe he's the father of loyalty. He really does, and he says the baby looks a lot like him. Conception date clearly pointed to Mr. White, but then when you went to the doctor later on, it established that there Mr. was Talbert potentially Mr. Talbert as another possible father Correct. because the conception date changed. Correct. So when you got this news... He says he spent time with her a lot, but does not support her because the defendant rejected the help and said that she's good, whatever that means. The defendant's mother says that she really hopes that the plaintiff is the father because he's a good man and she knows he'll take care of her granddaughter. Let's check out the results. Male's biological father is Mr. Talbert. <sighs> Ms. Sanders brings in her ex-boyfriend to prove that her son Caleb, which he denies, is his. Though she had another man sign the birth certificate, she claims the baby is definitely his. The defendant denies her claims and says her claims and says she's very promiscuous and he's almost definitely sure he's not the baby's father, with genetic proof. You claim it is genetically impossible that you are Caleb's father and therefore the plaintiff needs to get her child expenses from her son's real daddy. Yes, Your Honor, I do. So, Ms. Sanders, what has Mr. Brady done exactly for baby Caleb since his birth? The plaintiff says the defendant hasn't done anything since she was pregnant. Nothing. He doesn't even visit the baby, and the reason? Because the baby's not his. He says it's genetically impossible for the baby to be his because the baby has green eyes and nobody in his family has ever had that attribute, not even in her family. My grandparents, my grandma don't have brown eye, green eyes, <laughs> my granddaddy don't got green eyes, my mama or my daddy, her either, obviously. Me, I definitely don't have brown, green eyes. I'm trying to figure out where these green eyes come from. He says he didn't even find out about the baby's birth through her, but rather through a friend on Facebook. And when he showed up to her, she sent him away, saying she doesn't need him in her baby's life. He says she told him when she was pregnant, but he dismissed it and said the baby is not his. He says she's too promiscuous in nature for him to trust that the baby is his. The plaintiff reveals why she sent him away, and it's because he was not there, not even through her tough birth and pregnancy. It was like his heart rate dropped from like 140 down to 70, so I had to hurry up and push him out. I pushed him out in about four minutes. He was my water broke at 956. He was born at 10 on the diet. His umbilical cord was wrapped around his neck and everything. It was a rough pregnancy, and Mr. Brady was never. The plaintiff says he's too nonchalant, but the first time she told him about the pregnancy, he didn't even acknowledge it. She told him on the phone, and after a while of awkward silence, after the assertion came, he asked her for shoes. I mean, that's another level of indifference. She says her ex-boyfriend, not the defendant, was there, and he even signed the birth certificate. But they did do a paternity test, and he wasn't the father. He'd been an integral part of this child's yeah. life without having his name on the birth certificate. I just didn't want my son to not have someone listed as his father on the birth certificate. It was just something that was inside me instead of just having it blank. And this man was going to be in his life like he said he would. I just wanted him to know, even if this is not your biological father... He the defendant brings in another twist, saying he knows the plaintiff was sleeping with his co-worker while they were together. He says she saw her number on his co-worker's phone and saw minutes of steady conversations. 
She says he's telling stories because she doesn't even know the co-worker he's talking about. The plaintiff brings in her mother, who confirms her claims of the defendant not being there. Father, I believe my daughter. I don't know Mr. Brady. I just, this is my first time ever seeing him. Since Caleb's been born, myself and my husband step up. We buy this baby everything when, when she needs help. We st she says she never even asked her daughter if there was another potential father, that she chose to believe her and support her with anything. They both claim this is the very first time in months they're seeing him. After he embarrassed her in front of everyone in their neighborhood, shouting at the top of his voice to everyone in the neighborhood to know the baby is not his. That's quite a nuisance. Yeah, he said, can I see the baby? I said, yeah. I lift the um, blanket off his head. Here he go. I told y'all that's not my baby. Y'all look, this is not my baby. Look at his eye, that's not my baby. Well, it'd be nice if somebody else knew besides me. <laughs> He's not even trying to deny it. He definitely thinks what he did was right. He doesn't even care about the possibility that the baby is his. Still, he's missed six months of the child's life. I mean, even though you ain't the father, the bare minimum is being present. Judge Lake decides to read the birth certificate. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Brady, you are not. I told her that was my baby, y'all. Sit down. I told her. Sit down foster care because he let me rot in foster care. He didn't care about nothing about me. Uh, that is a strong, strong accusation. Me and her, we got to dating. Wasn't no relationship going on. It was just a hit and quit thing. A Pennsylvania man and woman with different mothers want to prove the defendant is their biological father. Two people with two different mothers are here claiming the same defendant could possibly be their biological father. Mr. Moore claimed to have known the defendant most of his life and has never been acknowledged as his son. You claim you've known Mr. Taylor for most of your life. Yes, Your Honor. But he has never acknowledged you as a son. Yes, Your Honor. And he even left you in foster care. Yes, Your Honor. Miss Everett claimed she never knew him until she was five years old. She also claimed to not have seen him again until she was sent to live with him as a teenager. Would you say you weren't even introduced to Mr. Taylor until you were five years old? Then you claim you didn't see him again until you were sent to live with him as a teenager. Yes, I am. How bad can leaving with your father get to have gone as far as putting yourself in a foster care? It went so badly, you actually ended up putting yourself in foster care. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Taylor. The defendant denying the paternity to both of them and claimed to have a good reason for doing so. The paternity of both plaintiffs and you have good reason with each. That's correct, Your Honor. Now I'm going to- Mr. Moore brought his aunt as a witness as she claimed her testimony would change everything. Hear the cases separately, starting with Mr. Moore. Mr. Moore, your aunt is here and she says her testimony will change everything in this case, but first- First off, how did he end up in foster care? I ended up in foster care because he let me rot in foster care. He didn't care about nothing about me. Uh, that is a- That's a very strong accusation. How did that happen? Please describe your childhood. How did this happen? I, I went to juvenile hall because my mom, my mom was addicted to drugs. My mom came in there to tell me that Mr. Teller was my dad. His frustrations are valid. He waited that long just to realize the father he never knew is a deadbeat father. But I was upset because why are you telling me this now? Like, and he, he wasn't never there for me. And now you're telling me that this is my dad. So then I get- He believed if his father was there for him, he would have been a better person than he is currently. I think that if he was there for me, I would be a better person than what I am now. I can't even read or write or anything. He claimed he couldn't go to school because he had no parents and he had to take care of his brothers. Because, because I didn't have a father. Out of school? No, because I didn't have a father or mother in my life. I didn't have neither one. I had to take care of my, my little brother and my older brother. What does Mr. Taylor have to say to all of this? I wasn't sure ever that this was my son. You still can I find I honestly elder. didn't know. No, Your Honor, I didn't know. So I went. He claimed to have done some investigations, and he found out his name wasn't even on the birth certificate. He has the evidence. And I, I, I did a little investigating, and I do have right here a birth certificate that... My name's not even on it. If he knew there was a possibility that Mr. Moore was his son, why didn't he get him out of foster care, or at least try to? Why wouldn't you go get him out of foster care, or at least start some type of proceeding yeah. to be able to determine? He claimed Mr. Moore's late mother was promiscuous. I was always in doubt on uh, his mother, God rest her soul, very promiscuous. It was really confusing. Let's check out the evidence. What you present it, you say further, validates. Convince me 
Mr. Moore claimed he had evidence proving they looked alike. Did you bring that evidence? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Can I present this to you? We got the same chin, same nose, same mouth, same eyes, same hair structure, all that. Let's check out his own evidence. But of course, is a picture of you and on the right, a picture of Mr. Taylor. Yes, And you see a striking resemblance. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Taylor. Mr. Taylor claimed complexion was the only resemblance they had. Once I see a resemblance as far as us being the same complexion. What did his mother say to the defendant? What did his mother say to you? What did his she tell you? His mother said to me, now this is years later. This isn't when the child was born. This is your, that might be your son. Was he aware that she was pregnant? About a month later, she says, you know I'm pregnant. Yeah, and you know what I mean? You done went back with the guy that you left to be with me. Now you're back with him. Now you're coming back and you're telling me that you're pregnant? Mr. Moore claimed his mother wouldn't have lied to him as he was in jail when he was informed Mr. Taylor was his father. I told him because my mom would not lie to me and tell me in jail. She told me in jail that he was my dad. Oh. And, and this um, Gregory Teller is your dad. But it's in jail, time, I but walked she, out on her. But she, Why would she tell him he was not the father if he actually was? She came back to me and told me that's not your son. Mr. Moore claimed he longed for a father figure, which he never had. Hence why he'd make sure he's a father figure to his kids. Longing for a father figure. Yes, yes, and I don't have one of those. So now that I got my kids, I take, I make sure that I'm their father figure. <laughs> Let's hear what Miss Twyman, Mr. Moore's witness, had to say. Mr. Moore's mother is my sister. Okay. Okay. My sister told me that Mr. Taylor could not be the father of Mr. Moore. Literally out of her mouth. In what context did she tell her this? Because I guess when she got pregnant, she was also sleeping with other gentlemen. She's always done that. Considering the position that Mr. Moore was in, why tell him at that point who his father was? The position this young man was in. Go to him and tell him Mr. Taylor is your biological father. I can't speak on that. You I don't know why. there when she told him that. The results are in. And as to whether Mr. Taylor is his biological father, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Taylor, you are his father. <laughs> How does Mr. Taylor feel? His eyes seem watery. What are you feeling right now? I'm feeling that I finally know I could have been in his life so much earlier if I wouldn't have let situations and people talking to me. He regrets not being there for him and is willing to make up for that. I want to try my best to make it up as best as I can. Would you like to give your son a hug? I sure would. That's a beautiful sight to behold. I love you, I love you too much. Let's move on to the second part of the case. She explained what life was like for her growing up. I never had a father um, figure in my life. I didn't meet Mr. Taylor until I was five years old. He came to my house in Philadelphia. You don't make promises you're never going to fulfill to children. And he said, um, oh, I'll be back to see you again. I've never seen him again until I was 14. He admitted he remembers the set day vividly. I doubted her from the beginning. The way that I met her mother, which was a very brief relationship, uh, to begin with. He described the nature of his relationship with her mother. Her mother lived with me for a month. She left, and I didn't see her no more. And then the next time you see me, you got a baby, and you saying it's mine. And right after that, I was incarcerated. Miss Everett has something to say, but Judge Lauren holds her off. Okay, can when I, I came home... Oh, yes. In just, just one moment, ma'am, what I, I want to understand from you, sir, is... Mr. Taylor claimed his relationship with her mother was not exclusive, and he had also claimed to be aware she was sleeping with other people. Were exclusive, or were you aware... No, it wasn't exclusive at did all. Did you know if her mother was sleeping with no, other I people? I knew her mother was sleeping with others. How did he know that? You know I mean, that. I know that because, long story short, after I met her mother and she stayed with me for that month, I was getting all kinds of feedback from my... My friends. Those comments actually do carry a lot of different meaning. You know about her? You know what's up with her? They were kind of like laughing at me for even dealing with her because they knew how promiscuous she was. She gave him reason.
reasons to have doubt. This child, I don't know nothing about it. I go to jail, I come out of jail, I go past to see the mom. She tells me, this is your daughter. Ms. Everett claimed that because he was never in the picture throughout the five years, she was unaware of anything about him. All I know is it was a man named Greg. I didn't have a father, a, a, a daughter father relationship, no type of anything. He was nowhere in the picture. Your Honor, but five to 14 years He claimed not to have been in the picture because of all the doubts he had. The doubts that I had as far as the mother's And concerned. so when- What happened after the next encounter she had when she was 14? I was sent on a Greyhound bus to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Treated me, neglected me, didn't and enroll me in school. No, no. Me. Mr. Taylor doesn't seem to agree with her, but still has more to say. Food. She was- At times- Your Honor, she, she was in food. high school we didn't and she turns food. around every they Five minutes, I'm going. I'll go up to the school. She's staying hooky. Why take her in if you can't take care of her? I cared. I wanted to reach out. They said that this was my child. She takes and calls me on the phone. I'm at the bus station. I'm not going to leave her at the bus station. He claimed not to have been aware she was coming when she informed him she was at the bus station. Oh, to say I'm at the bus station? Did you know she was coming? No. What? No. The next thing Hitting a man up with that much responsibility without any heads up wasn't the right way to go. As soon as she got there, I could see why she came. She was playing hooky from school. She was staying out. What? Just when you think it can never get worse. And right after this year that she was there, when she goes back, she's pregnant. I'm up there. That's a lot to handle with the fact he wasn't even aware she was his child. And then she's going to turn around and say some craziness like that when I stuck up for her? I know why you're so passionate. It's 25 years later. A computer error on a birth certificate? That doesn't even add up. It was two people on the birth certificate. When I took that, that to the state building, the state building said to me that it was a computer error. So, a computer wait a error, minute. nothing. Wait, there's two. How can there be two names on a birth certificate? How was that even possible? Birth certificate? There was two people at the time. It was just a word named Michael on a birth certificate under Gregory Till. So, do you have- She claimed not to have been able to get the birth certificate, as it takes times to be processed. When I went to apply for my birth certificate again, they said um, the system was changed in Philadelphia. So you got to apply for it, then you got to go back and pick it up. They don't do it same day thing. So that's why I don't have the birth certificate with me today. Mr. Taylor claimed he had never seen the birth certificate and also believes his name shouldn't be on it. I don't know nothing about it. I don't know, I know that my name shouldn't be on it. What simply behind the it? fact that she had a selection of people she could have put on it. He asserted that he's only trying to be honest and not being disrespectful to her mother. Mother, I'm just telling you how her mother was. The only? The result is the only way to find out whose name should rightfully be on the birth certificate to figure out whose name should rightfully be on that birth certificate is to get the results. Jerome, I'm ready. The results are in. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Taylor, you are her father. Well, his efforts weren't in vain. Yeah. He's got his hands full now, but I'm sure he can handle it. How bad can it be? Got your hands full with your little girl. <laughs> but you know what? Because honestly, you can fulfill for both. She finally put a smile on. It's heartwarming to know they both have a father. A beautiful bride, love yes, you do. Oh my goodness, my dad. A kid. I did everything with whoever at that time. I a Kentucky woman brought her ex-boyfriend to court to prove that he is the father of her 20-year-old daughter after telling him that he wasn't years ago. He said he initially believed that he was the father of the child, but her words made him have doubts. She said she had told him he wasn't the father at the time because she was upset with him and she just wanted to get back at him and she has regretted doing so for years. I was there from day one since she was born and they handed her to me and right then I looked because I got locked up a lot of kids and all my kids, even by a different hair, as slick as glass. And she came out with this curly hair, you know, and I'm like, where did this come from? <laughs> and I'm like, well, what's up with this? And she they ain't all got to take out the youth. He said they went to high school together. When she got pregnant with his first daughter, he was happy because that was his first kid. And then she had his son and he was also happy because that was his first son. He said it was years later she had Charelle. 
She said when she had Cherelle, she told him and his response was that she wasn't his child. He disagreed saying he didn't say such. He also said he was at the hospital when she was born and he gave her her name. Pipkins and me don't get along. She's saying I did, but <laughs> yeah, he did. Nah, you know, I don't do birth certificates cause that's like incriminating myself. You know, I'm, I'm not like the biggest yeah, fan of child support. If a kid is mad, I'll step up to the plate and do what I got to do, but I just don't like being required to do no everything, have this much money, every. She said he signed the birth certificate, but unfortunately did not bring a copy to court. He said he never denied the baby. He said she had told him that somebody else was the father and he wasn't trying to hurt her, but he's been the father for two years and she's obviously going on his income taxes, so he wasn't going to have her say the child wasn't his. She said she was frustrated about a whole lot of things that were going on with him and she knew telling him he wasn't the father was going to get to him. Hence why she did so without understanding how much it would hurt her daughter. I told her that my hair was nappy and he wanted to know if I was his daughter or not. She kept on saying it's a possibility that Marcellus was my daddy. Just a possibility that he was your dad. Yes, and so daughter. this was all about your hair. Yeah. Miss Charrell said she was five years old when she heard them arguing about her paternity. She said she was confused and angry at her because she has kids and she wants them to have a grandfather. She said when she was 16, she decided that it was time for her to know. They were sitting on her granny's porch when her mother looked at her and blurted out that she looked like the other guy. She was confused. She also said every time she got mad at her, she'd tell her she looked like the other guy. Say it a lot when you get mad. Yes, I do. I do. I tend to say the wrong things. Yes. And so you said that to your daughter. You look like that other guy. Yes, I did. You're right. So there was another guy. Yes, it was. She said she didn't really have a relationship with the other guy. They only went out a couple of times. She said they were intimate and it was during the time she was with Mr. Rowan. She added that she was more intimate with Mr. Rowan than the other guy, but unfortunately, it just takes once. She said she told the other guy she was pregnant and that he could potentially be the biological father, but he wasn't allowed to come to the hospital because Mr. Rowan was there. Yeah, ma'am. You are not on Sherelle's birth. Uh, no, I didn't sign it. I don't do birth. But another man's name is. Hmm, well, that's... Miss Point. Makes me want to just clench my pearls now, cause I don't see how that could be. I... Miss Point said the other man she always got mad and told her daughter she looked like was the one who signed the birth certificate, and she knew all along that his name was on the birth certificate. According to her, the other guy came up to the hospital and signed the birth certificate when Mr. Rowan left. She said the other guy believed he was the father, hence why he signed it. How heartless can you be to allow another man to go through the stress of taking care of someone else's child? She said she never had doubts that the other guy was the father, she just didn't want him to be. Like I'm sad. I know it makes you sad, honey. Cause she been lying this whole time. Don't cry, boo-boo, it's all right. It takes more to be a dad than just donating sperm. Like I said, you gotta do that. Judge Lauren Lake said the reason Mr. Rowan believed he was the father was because Miss Points was sleeping with him and the other guy at the same time. She also said even if she's quite sure the other guy's the father, the DNA hasn't spoken yet. The judge asks Miss Points if there were any other possibilities. She said there weren't. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Rowan, you are not the hey, father. Hey, no, no. You are not the father. I'm so sorry. It's okay. He's been in my well, that's on time. paper. Like I say, ain't nothing going to change. Come here, baby. Come here. Come over here. A woman wants to prove a man she had a relationship with when she conceived her daughter is the biological father of her daughter. Mr. Gonzalez said he hopes that the child is but with Miss Salvo's repeated lies, he has no idea whether or not he is. He also argued that she had been intimate with multiple men, including his best friend, and believes any one of them could be the father. Who he knows admires his daughter, but he refuses to take care of him. I've never, ever had sex with any Hispanic man but him. I, 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 prefer my, I prefer black people. I don't like Hispanic men. I was intoxicated at the time. She said they slept together once, but he argues that they slept together more than six times. He said they had started off by their moms knowing each other. 
He once went to her house and they moved from watching movies to kissing and touching each other. They eventually slept together without protection. He got thirsty and got up naked to get something to drink. He opened the fridge and her mom saw him. She didn't get mad, all she said was, wow. He said the relationship did continue after that night. He also added that he had a fiance at the time and she was aware. You claim that this testimony is false. It's incorrect. Yes, Your Honor. The whole part six times, that's ridiculous. So you had sex with Mr. Gonzalez one time. Yes. She said she also had a boyfriend at the time and she was sleeping with the boyfriend during the same time period. She said she was periodically but not consistently using protection with her boyfriend at the time. She said she stopped being in contact with him because at first she thought it was his, but later realized when she looked at the child when she had her that she wasn't his. According to her, she looks Hispanic to the fullest and her ex-boyfriend is black. She also believes the fact that they both have one dimple makes him the biological father. I did test him. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, and what happened? He is not the father. Okay, so you had your ex tested. Mm -hmm and it would reveal that he was excluded as a possibility. Yes. So He said he once took his best friend to her house and five days later, his friend was showing him pictures of her naked on his phone. She said he was lying as she doesn't send naked pictures or let anybody take naked pictures of her. He also said his friend had claimed he had a sexual relationship with her. Due to this, he believes his friend could be the father. She said she wasn't with anybody besides her ex-boyfriend and Mr. Gonzalez during the window of time current ex-boyfriend yes i was supposed to do his hair but i mean i'm not gonna just mess up my relationship at the time even though i already did by having sexual intercourse with him not be with my boyfriend at the time he's been more supportive through even my emotional distress than he she admitted being promiscuous when she was young as she was sleeping with different people she believes her promiscuous past is what's haunting him which she doesn't even know about but apparently she thinks her mother told him about he said they were hanging out at his mother's house one night and a Mexican guy was looking mad at him like he wanted to fight. He asked her why he was being looked at like that and she told him he wanted to be the baby daddy, but she told him that Mr. Gonzalez was already the baby daddy. Well, he said he wanted a kid You've by You've been with me. him since then? No, not with, no. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. He was just a friend, but nothing sexual ever. Is that the statement you made to Mr. No, Gonzalez? No, Your Honor, I told him specifically that he... Judge Lauren Lake asked if she raised the child alone. She told her that her fiance helps out a lot. She also added that she was more of a father figure than anybody else. She said Mr. Gonzalez has not been there, but it countered by saying he bought several things when the baby was born. She said he had only bought two toothbrushes and a toothpaste for the baby, and everything he said he had bought his mother had actually bought for them. This day one since a mic came out. Really? Oh, really? So was Mr. Gonzalez there? Not there? No. And so what do you know about this situation? Oh, I know. I feel like I don't have no equipment to be the daddy, but I am the daddy because... Mr. Gonzalez said he wants Amaya to be his daughter as it's not her fault she's here in this world. He said he's been there and he's built a relationship with the child. He added that if he turns out to be the father, he'd step up and do what needs to be done to take care of the child. Mr. Gonzalez, it has been determined by this court that you are not the father. Excuse me, Your Honor. Can I still come around and see Amaya and help her out if I can? Because for a year and four or five months, she's been my daughter and she's still going to be my daughter. I told her that before she came in the show. I got on my knees and I told her.